Hey everybody and welcome to part 22 of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. So in this episode we'll just continue our duels through- wait no, that's not what we were doing. I know what I was doing. I was going to go do the timed duels. Yeah, I almost forgot exactly what I was going to do. We already did two of three. Wow, so let's do 41. Okay, right, so we got a spell card. Uh, we got Valkyrian, the Magnawar, 35, Mine Golem, Minefield Eruption, Giant Rat, Premature Burial for probably another Mine Golem. Uh, exactly what does Mine Golem do? When this card is just uh, when this card is sent to the graveyard, it's result of battle for 500 dam points of damage to your opponent's life points. But I guess he could survive. Inflict one thousand points of damage for each mind golem face up on your side of the field. After that, destroy all face up mind golems on your side of the field. So what I'm assuming is I'm actually gonna summon this, but I'm not actually gonna blow him up. Wait, what? What is? Oh, I know. I don't want to do that. Thank you very much. And then we'll summon giant rat. Giant rat will have to blow itself up. So giant rat will then attack into this. No, thank you. Oh yeah, we just have a hundred left. No, I don't want to chain. Thank you for the monster, which will be mine golem. And then we will activate minefield eruption. And there we go, we win. So we blew him up with the power of mines. Now let's see, we got blue eyes, blue eyes, and blue eyes, I assume. Yep. Tribute to the Doom, back to square one, Dark Factor, Mass Production, King of the Skull Servants. So we have 3,000. Oh, I know, I see what I'm gonna do. Oh, I see exactly what I'm gonna do. So I actually need this. So we're gonna bring back two skull servants. So we'll bring these with us. Now we gotta use these abilities. So we'll activate back to square one. Discard one of our random skull servants. So discard this one. Destroy blue eyes. Well, not destroy, return. Use this ability. Discard the other skull servant. Destroy one of the other blue eyes, doesn't matter which one. Summon the King of the Skull Servants. Attack that guy because we're tied, and then we'll come back. So attack. Ooh, that's a good artwork. And select one monster removed from play. We'll get rid of you. See, that other guy wasn't working properly in that one duel. What, against Titan or whatever? He was cheating. Like, his King of the Skull Servants wasn't working properly. Also, just really badly hurt my knee. And, uh, yeah, so... Okay, okay, okay. I think the pain's going away, but let's do 43. Okay, so let me guess. Blue Eyes Ultimates. Meteor B-Dragon and Black Skull Dragon. Okay, so we got Shinado, King of Higher Plane, Book of Moon. Shinado's Arc, Snatch, Steel, Mad Dark of Darkness. So why do I need this? What is your ability exactly? Okay. When this destroys the defense position monster influence the original attack of the destroyed monster. So I think I see what we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna activate Book of Moon. On you. I'm pretty sure. Activate Snatch Steel. Take over you. Activate Shinado's Arc. Uh, use. No, not use you. Use you. Decide. Summon you in attack mode. Summon you in attack mode. And then we'll attack with our, uh, Shinado. Attack you. I think I did this right.
Exactly. Perfect. See, some of these actually aren't that difficult. Apparently, we've already done two of them, so they can't be that bad. 44. Alright, so we got Skull Invitation, which... Every time I cross into the grave, I inflict 300 damage to that bonus. Blazing, blazing, and a random. Special summon. It doesn't matter what you summon, because... I can literally just get Dark Dust Spirit. I think Swords of Revealing Light is literally useless. There we go. Wait. Oh, wait, no, no, I see what I do. Also, I have no idea how I'm playing this game with this controller. I just realized that. Okay, but what we gotta do is we gotta activate this. Guardian Sphinx, eh? Special summon Gilasaurus. And I'm gonna summon Dark Dust Spirit, because I totally forgot that he only destroys face up monsters. And then we have enough. So, yay, we did it! Another easy one I just completely missed, but good thing that wasn't during the exam, you know? Now let's do 48, just cause. It's another ritual one. Rest Chef. Offerings to the doomed. Skip your next draw phase, right? Destroy one face of monster. Manju, Red Eyes, Darkness Dragon. Okay, I'm assuming we'll use this. Wait, no. I think I have to destroy my own monster. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure I gotta destroy my own. Then we'll add Final Ritual of the Ancients. The video game named after this guy is so much more difficult. Activate effect. We'll do that, and then we'll, we'll be done. Summon you. And then destroy what it what? I don't actually I don't know what this is gonna do to him though. 100. Okay, no, that didn't work. So what is your ability? Discard one spell camera and take control of one Oh no 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 no, I see what it is. Let me see exactly what it is. Okay. We'll do it again. I think this is a lie. Summon you. No. Add the ritual card to our hand. Because then we get rid of them, and then we summon the other one. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. This thing has just got to go. It's a no... No, wait. No, no, I know what it is. I don't know why I did that again. I need it. I just got to get used to it wanting to trigger. That's my issue. I hate cards that want to trigger. No. I need to summon you. Do I want a chain? No. I want to grab the card. Final Ritual of the Ancients, please. Because then I want to activate his ritual. No, I won't chain. And then I will choose the two Manjus. Thank you. No. And then I will go like this. To then gain control of you. Then I will activate you. By removing from play the two of you. And goodbye. Alley -oop. And there we go. Now we should win. I don't know why I did what I did there for a second, but whatever. Let's burn him. Yeah, and see, we just have enough. Don't know what I was doing, guys. I apologize. So hope we get one of these on our next exam, and not one of the ones we haven't done. 
Ah, 47. Let's see what we got. We got Zombyro the Dark, Jinzo, and Spear Dragon. Zombyro the Dark. This card can attack, cannot attack a player directly. When this card it loses, it destroys, it loses 200. Call the Haunted. Relinquished. Ritual. Oh, I see what I gotta do. We'll sacrifice Zombyra. Because we only need level 1, so. Summon in attack mode. Why is its eye red? Its eye is supposed to be yellow, I'm pretty sure. We'll take Jinzo because trap card. We'll equip it with ritual weapon. Nope. Don't want don't even bother chaining, because chaining is annoying. Then we'll use this card to bring back our Zombie of the Dark. Which can then be used to destroy Spear Dragon. Yeah, see, we'll do enough. Attack you. Now he's weaker. Zombie of the Dark is actually a really bad card, in my opinion. And we win with the Relinquished. That was actually really easy, and I realize this series seems to be based on, or like the set, seems to be based on rituals. Okay, so far we got Salvage and Axe of Despair, we got Mother Grizzly, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Amphibious Bugroth, and Mother Grizzly. So. I think we want this. We'll grab you guys. And decide. Let's see, we have 2,000 life points, which means if you attack, we'll lose 1,600, which is fine. Oh no, I think I know what I gotta do. I think I gotta summon you. I think I gotta equip you with the Axe of Despair because you'll be able to attack directly. I bet you the other card that we're gonna get is um, Maiden of the Sea or Maiden of the... No, Maiden of the Aqua. So we'll attack you with you. Take the damage. Yeah, it is Maiden of the Aqua. I knew it. Big booby lady. And we'll attack. And we'll attack directly. Could you imagine if the game was broken and didn't realize how to do that? But it's like, yeah, here we go. 45. Dark Blade, Dark Blade, Man Throw Tro, Gaiaku Gaier, Gaiaku Gaier. Okay, so, uh, offer a normal monster to inflict 800 damage to your opponent's life points. Um, this one. Once during your turn, quick dark blade. When that quick monster gains attack by 400, and when attacks with the defense position, blah blah blah. So that makes us 22, but that's still weaker than you. Oh, okay, I see what it is, yeah. So I'm pretty sure I gotta activate your ability after or before. I'm not entirely sure, so we'll activate it on you. Wait, no, see, I can't. So I have to actually use you to then nuke him. Because then that actually, yeah, see, it decreases to 1800. Which means now I can attack. Either one doesn't really matter, because they'll be the exact same. And then go to main phase two. Use his ability again to sacrifice the other Dark Blade. That was actually really easy. I'm not gonna lie. 49. Like, so we got a trap card, a spell card that's trying to trick her. Metal Morph, Limited Removal, Pot of Generosity. Turn two cards from your hand to your deck. Wait, what? My. Zoa. So we're trying to get Metal Zoa, right? It's currently me some offering Zoa a quick Metal Morph. Your deck is then shuffled. Wait, from your deck? Oh! So I think I know what we need. So we need to get rid of that. No, I'm not gonna chain. So I'm gonna get rid of Metal Zoa and Alpha the Magnet Warrior. Not Alpha the Magnet. I guess that? I'm hoping that's enough. Because then we activate this. 
give you Metal Morph. Activate effect. Summon you. Act yeah, okay, we do have enough. I was worried that like we needed Alpha or something like that, but now we have enough. We win. Okay, that was actually really easy as well. Sometimes I just overthink some of them. Okay. So it looks like we got Sasuke Samurai, Element Dragon. So Sasuke Samurai is attacks face down to destroy it. Your ability is fire, increase the attack of this card by 500. Wind, if this card is can attack once again in a row. Hmm. Book of Moon. Oh, I think I know what we need. We need to use Book of Moon on you. Now we need to summon our highest attack point, which would be you. Because now with this, we can use Sasuke to destroy the blue eyes. And then Element Dragon. Oh no, we might have actually needed the fire type. I'm not sure. Yeah, can attack once again in a row. Yeah, we needed the fire one. Okay, yeah. I, I, I got it. We need a Great Angus over him. Alright, so we'll do this again. Okay, so we'll use the Book of Moon on the blue eyes, though. No matter what, it's the blue eyes. But then we'll summon the Great Angus. And then we'll attack. I'm pretty sure. Attack you. Oh no, I see. This doesn't say a monster. It just says attacks once again in a row. So I can, that can include direct damage. Wait, what? No, yeah, I failed it. Gosh darn it. I did it again. Once again, it requires a monster. I don't know, I'm like, it didn't say a monster. It did, and I read that too. I apologize. I've been playing way too much Spyro, my brain's kind of frazzled. So, once again, blue eyes. Summon the Great Angus. Get you to attack the, the blue eyes. Get you to attack. Yeah, because then it'll do. Yeah, exactly enough. I don't know why I ever thought that. I'll attack again. Then Great Angus will finish you off. Because that's all we need to do. Because I completely thought, like, oh, what if I do that? Yeah, no. It wasn't even hard. I don't know why I was, like, overthinking so much. Okay, so we got another card that wants to activate. So we got Ring of Destruction, Warrior of Zera, Face Down, Summon Skull, Chain Burst. Hmm. Break of the Magic. Oh! Okay, so what I think I gotta do is I gotta activate this to then trigger that face down. Magical Plant Mandragola. <clears throat> Summon you. No, I, I want your ability, not the spell a trap card. To then destroy Chain Burst. Okay, now let's see what I gotta do. I can destroy you, but I can't destroy you. Oh, no, I know what we need to do. We need to activate this. To destroy the summon skull. Wait. Never mind, that was not what we were supposed to do. I completely didn't realize it was is equivalent to his attack. Summon breaker though. Okay, now we'll activate Breaker's ability to then destroy you. Don't want to activate anything else, thank you. Ring of Destruction, Swords Revealing Light. Now what am I supposed to do exactly? Wait, that pumped me up again. To 1900. Sixteen hundred. Hmm. 
I don't get this. Like, how am I supposed to win this? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. This one's actually tough. Alright, don't, don't say anything, because... Alright. Both you and your opponent's life points. Because he has a limit of one. But what? Oh, wait a minute. We're not even supposed to attack. I just realized what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do that. That's gonna trigger on ma on our buddy, and we activate Ring of Destruction on. We have 100 more life points than them. Doi. Why did that take me so long to figure out? 56. So we got a lot of cards. We got Black Pendant, Iron Blacksmith, Kotatsu, Face Down, Marauding Captain, DD Warrior Lady, Gear for the Iron Knight, Black Pendant, Giant True Nade, Mysterious Card. So with this, we can summon you. And we'll see what's what's in our deck, which is Lightning Blade or Black Pendant. Lightning Blade is obviously better because it's for a warrior. But we will activate Marauding Captain. Wait, I didn't mean to summon you, but whatever. Wait a minute, I bet you. Oh no, 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 I know exactly how to win. This is a weird one. I get it, I get it. This is a really interesting duel. Because you're actually using Gear Free to win this. So we'll use, we'll use Kotetsu. And then Kotetsu will get the Black Pendant this time. We don't need actual damage. I didn't think we need to summon our buddy. We literally just summon you. There's a lot more cards than we actually need. So we'll activate Black Pendant. Equip it to you. Fail. Once again, activate this to completely fail on you. And then he'll just go to zero from Black Pendants. You don't even need to attack anything, man. And there we go, we win. Once again, one that you're just gonna overthink and not really have that much difficulty with. Okay, so we got the Creator, Bazoo the Soul Eater, Premature Burial, Marshmelon, the Creator Incarnate, and Gravekeeper's Guard, which is 1900, but I believe we can activate your effect. Summon you in attack mode. And then the Creator can activate. Select the monster that will be special summoned. The creator incarnate, I guess, because of the attack points. Discard from hand. Premature burial, because once again, I'm pretty sure having Bazoo will outbeat having the other guy. Attack position. We need 1900, so. We need to attack with you, the Creator. Now we will destroy Gravekeeper's Guard. And we'll attack directly with Marshmallow. No, this only brings us to 3200, though. How do we get the extra... Oh, wait, no. Uh oh. Never mind. I can I completely forgot to use Bazoo's ability. I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, it's Bazoo. Duh. So what we wanna do is we'll summon Bazoo the Soul Eater. Not activate his ability yet. We'll, we'll activate the Creator Incarnate. Summon you. Activate your ability. Summon the Creator Incarnate. Discard from her hand, Premature Burial. 
Summon you. Activate you. Activate Bazoo the Salt Eater. Select three cards. Just one card, sadly. But I believe that's now enough, because Bazoo 1900. So now the creator will attack and destroy Gravekeeper's card again. Looks like he has boobs, honestly. It really does. We'll attack. 300. 1900, and then 1600. We're off by 100 again! Hmm. So we failed that again. Because we need to get the creator out, right? the wrong card all along. Like, I don't know why I was doing that, but once again, Bazoo is actually a really good card temporarily, hence why it was a super rare. Let's see with that, now we can beat him. I don't know why I was having an issue with that. Because I'm like, wait, 300 points the first time, well that was enough for Marshmallow, because we were clearly missing a card. Yeah, and see, we'll have exactly... Wait, no, I'm still missing 100! How did I fail that again? Why am I failing this? This is not as easy as one would think. <gasps> Unless... Activate this. Let me do that way. I don't know, guys. I'll figure it out in the next episode. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day.